<laughs> I'm single. I'm such a loser. I'll never be happy. And I'll never be able to serve God. <laughs> yeah, these are three lies that singles need to stop believing. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel today. As I said, we're talking about three lies that singles need to stop believing. I'm single and I sometimes believe these lies and I need to stop and you need to stop if you're single too. And I think we can all grow from this and continue to follow Christ as we seek to yeah, honor God with our singleness. So let's jump into the three lies that you need to stop believing if you're single. The first lie is that you'll never be happy when you're single. Only true happiness comes when you're in a relationship. Dude, stop believing this. You're wasting your life. <laughs> uh, you know, you can get in this space like, oh, I'll only be happy when this. I'll only be happy when I get, uh, you know, a secure job. I'll only be happy when I, uh, you know, have a girlfriend or a boyfriend. I'll never be happy until I finally retire. I'll never be happy until I have kids. I'll never be happy till. Stop. Just stop god didn't create you to just lazy around or just you know just like get ready okay i'm almost gonna be married soon okay a couple more years hopefully it'll happen hopefully it happened and then eventually it happens and then it's like god's like okay you did it okay now your life can start i got all these plans for you that i've just been waiting on because you haven't been married unfortunately so god's like okay i'm just gonna you know you're gonna be happy now that's not the way it works that's not the way it works and for me, yeah, it can be easy to think, you know what, when I have somebody that's just like, you know, loves me and I love them and, you know, it'll be fun and it'll be, you know, happy and joyful. And I'm not saying that time of your life isn't going to be happy and joyful or maybe more so than this time of your life, maybe. But what I'm saying is don't discount this side of your life, this part where you're single, right? Because we can get in this space like, oh my goodness, oh. You know, I got nobody, man. I'm just kind of on my own and it's kind of boring and lonely and sad. And, uh. But, dude, there's stuff to do. There is things that when you're single are awesome, okay? When you can just like do things without having to talk to anybody about what plans you're making. If you're just like, I want to do this tonight. And maybe, you know, you just do it and you just go. And that's fun. I think a big piece to this is actually realizing that, look, all the happiness doesn't come once you're in a relationship. It can actually be found. You can find joy here in midst of being single. And once you realize that, I think there's a lot of places that you begin to see, oh, look, hey, this is kind of fun. This is really enjoyable. And you can actually begin to enjoy this season of your life as opposed to just be like, I can't wait till I'm engaged or dating or married or all this kind of thing. because. When you are, you're going to be able to look back or you're going to look back on this time and you're going to begin to think, wait, did I take advantage of that time? That the, that flexibility that I had, that just that kind of uh, autonomy that I was just able to do different things. Did I take advantage of that? You want to be able to say, yes, I took advantage of that. And, you know, um, I enjoyed this time. Lie number two. Oh, wait, that's not three. Lie number two is that you can really only serve God when you're in a relationship like god is just you know like i said he's just waiting he's just like okay getting isaac come on get in a relationship man come on i've been waiting for so long i got so many plans for you so many areas where i'm going to use you but you need to be in a relationship <laughs> that's not true like yeah god's gonna have different things for me and for you when we're in relationships but that doesn't mean that god doesn't have stuff for you right now areas and opportunities that he wants you to serve areas and and places where you can just dedicate your skill to and benefiting whatever it is ministries churches just individual outreach evangelism there's so many areas that as a single person you can just thrive in and yes when you're married or dating and there's other cool opportunities and fun things that you can do and areas where you can serve god and things that he'll call you to but he is calling you to things right now but by you only looking forward and be like i can't wait till i get married then i'll be looking to god and be like okay what's next god do that now start looking to god now what does he have for you now let's go to line number three that singles need to stop believing that you are a loser 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 Wait, is that right is it in the camera no is it 
I'm dyslexic. I do not know. Okay, anyway, you are the loser if you are single. <laughs> As I was thinking about the three, you know, because everything needs to work in threes. If I were to say two lies that you need to stop believing as a single, you wouldn't click on this video. But if I said three, then it was like, oh, you, oh, I'm going to totally click on that video. So I had to think of a third thing. And so I was just like racking my brain. What are some lies that I, I believe? And actually, when it came down to it, I was like, I kind of think I'm a loser sometimes when I'm like, yeah, I don't, I'm not in a relationship. It's kind of a loser status. <laughs> and it's so dumb that we, we think that way because it's so not true. It's so not true. There are a million reasons that you not, might not be in a relationship. Well, you know, what would be more of a loser status is to just get in a relationship without really being committed to it or really actually feeling like it's the right thing to do. And so I think we gotta like really start combating these lies that we have in our own hearts that, oh man, I'm a loser if I don't have a relationship, man. And maybe some other people can make you feel that way too. If maybe they're in relationships or maybe parents or, uh, you know, relatives would be like, are you in a relationship yet? No, no, but nothing yet. Like that can make you feel kind of like a loser, but I want to just encourage you. You're not a loser. It's okay to not be in a relationship. Um, you know what? God's timing is perfect. And if you're not in a relationship right now, that is okay, right? And maybe God's preparing you to be in a relationship soon and you're just kind of building towards that. Maybe it's going to be a while. And maybe he just wants you to just flourish in the places that you are right now as a single person. And that's awesome. That is so cool. Um, you're not a loser. And I'm saying that to myself as much as anybody else because I need to hear that. Well, this was three lies that singles need to stop believing. If you have any other lies or have some in additional comments on the lies I had talked about in this video, leave a comment down below with your thoughts. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it and got something from it. And be sure to subscribe because I'm putting new videos like this out all the time. So I'd love you to be a part of the community. Um, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye!